Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I make videos about this tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. It's Saturday before the move to Vancouver Island. And I have some very uh, lovely family coming down to help me with the projects today. Um, I'm tired, so I apologize for how I look and how I sound, but I know you guys understand. Um, Sophie is trying to get into one of the moving boxes. So the house is kind of in chaos, which stresses me out because I like to keep things tidy. Um, and I've started just sort of moving things around, putting things in boxes, things like that. Today we are, hey Soph, we are uh, putting the tires on the house. That is a big project. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. That is the number one project I want to have done today. All the other little things can be done, you know, after family goes, after I, um, you know, the big help that I have has left, uh, if we don't get it done while they're here. But the tires on is the big thing. I did pick up the trailer from U-Haul yesterday. <laughs> that was funny. Um, I don't know if you guys are Seinfeld fans. Um, I'm, I, Pretty sure the majority of you are of my vintage, so you remember Seinfeld. Um, so I reserved a trailer, a utility trailer, uncovered, open, nine feet by five feet wide. And so on Thursday, when they called to confirm the reservation and when I'd be picking up, she told me that they didn't have a trailer that was nine feet by five. They would be giving me a trailer that was six feet wide by 20 feet long for the same price. Now, I've never pulled a trailer before, so uh, I'm already nervous about pulling the one that I had reserved. So that whole Seinfeld <laughs> skit where he's at the rental car agency and they don't have the car that he reserved and he's like, so you know how to take the reservation. You just don't know how to keep the reservation. And the ticket agent's like, I know what a race reservation is. He's like, I don't think you do. And Elaine's in the background just nodding and smiling. Uh, that was what was running through my head through the whole thing. Anyways, I picked up the one that they gave me. Um, it's bigger. It's probably going to turn out to be better in the end. Because it's covered and it's bigger, I can put things like my bike in there and some stuff that would normally ride in the house. So probably it's all going to work out for the best in the end. Driving at home, um, I mean, I don't know what the five by nine would have felt like, you know, I'm sure that I'll be fine. <laughs> People move trailers all the time. My friend Jenny uh, used to drive her fifth wheel around and park it back that sucker up. I did manage to back it up onto the grass, sort of. <clears throat> Sophie is in the background. Can you see her? Doing her little Sophie thing. Anyways, so today that's what we're gonna do. There are some other projects like loading the trailer getting the overhang down and things like that, that I would really like to get done today. Uh, but the focus is getting on the tires. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll film as, film as much of it as I can for you. Um, and then I'll check in again when it's done. So we're this close to getting this house road ready.
pull back this step. We've, well, I didn't. Steph and Dawn, my brother-in-law, put the tires on. Carolyn and I got the overhang off. Dawn took the light off. Uh, and so that's done. And then we got the trailer loaded. You know, maybe it was a good thing that they gave me the 20 foot by six foot wide. You can see that the jacks are on still or down still. We didn't disconnect the plumbing yet. We will be doing that later, but I did make sure I understood how to drain the water tank and all of that and the tires and then the jacks are down still at the back the electrical and the water and the sewer so this plug here can you see it it's dark it's it's not dark I'm tired ah it's sunny and so hard to see but that all get disconnected when the like the night before so yeah and we'll disconnect the gas and everything that night so I feel good tired but not as tired as I would be if I didn't have help from some amazing people so Thank you, Steph. You probably will never watch my video. <laughs> but thank you, Carolyn and Dawn. I really appreciate you guys for coming down and helping me. That was amazing. Family is awesome. So now I'm just gonna lock that up. Got myself a good heavy duty padlock and uh, we can call her a night. I can go inside and deal with the chaos that's in there. So.